And this texture is coiling around, like fooling around, but with a coil that goes around and this uh, stick has a coil going around it. The coil is something like a spring. It goes around and around something. So I'm gonna zoom out. How does this start? It starts just like every other one of the textures. It starts with a line and it's an arc. And then you're gonna give it a friend so that it's parallel. Then you're gonna draw the line that goes under it. So that coil represents, or the first two lines represents the uh, coil that we started with. Now we're gonna draw the line that goes through it. But we don't wanna go through it, we wanna go under it. So you draw two lines to draw your shape, but it's gotta stop so it can go under and through a little ways. You're going to just do this part a little ways. And you draw this line up to the line, never cross a line, just like all the other textures. Then bring his friend to the line and pick up your pen and continue it on through here a short little ways. Boop, boop. Notice I never cross a line. So it went under this shape. Then I continue my coil around, which is kind of similar to the first line I made, then bring his friend around. Now bring your middle shape through to it, not through it, to it. So we're going to draw the line that goes through the coil up to the coil and continue it just a tiny bit just so you know where it comes out. Then bring this one first and tuck it in, then bring the outside one second and tuck it in. Do not cut through a line. Pick it up, go to the other side of the shape and do that short little bit because it has to go under the other piece as well. Now, this line would continue under the shape and come out right about here. And now you curl around just like that first line. Then bring his friend, drop him there for a minute because we have to know where this line goes. Now, you can start curling this line in a direction that you see fit for your design. So you can see I curled mine that way. I'm going to cur curl it to the right a little bit. And I'm just going to have it stick out just a little bit there so I know where it comes out. Now I take the inner coil first and tuck it in then bring its friend around with it. Now he has to continue through here, this little space here, but it's a short space, but I don't want to draw through any lines or shapes. So I have to pick it up and go under it. And then he'll continue on the other side. Bring him around just like that first line. And now we're off to the races. Get that middle stick going because he's you need him there to know where to stop this guy if you don't have him there you don't know where to stop he's got to come along too I always start with the inner coil because the outer coil follows that now I'm gonna do the outer coil then the inner then the stick I'm gonna just keep going a little to the right I think now let them peek out a little. Then go with the inner coil, inner, outer. Then have them like show through this little bit. Then start, I recommend, with the outer. This is the outer right here. Start with the outer when you do this part. Then do the inner. And now I'm gonna keep curling this guy. And every now and then, I'm like, oh, I should have gone a little further, that's okay. Now, do the inner, then the outer. It doesn't matter what order I do this one, just do both. But I recommend when you're at this point, do the outer first, then the inner. And now I'm gonna have them go a little to the left, just randomly, so you can change directions as it fits your design. You can do as many of these as you want. So keep doing these coils. Oop, I forgot this guy. 
should do that first. And they can also, if you're clever, go under this guy and be a tighter coil. Where would he come out? I don't know, right about here. So that gives even more dimension. All right, so the coil can go under the previous coil. And this one is just gonna show a little bit there because it's so tight. All right, so you just keep coiling around this guy. Whoop, I'm drawing off camera now. All right, I'm gonna do a few off camera.